Good morning, everybody. For those that are on the uh, webinar so far, I'm just going to leave it to 10.01 before we commence, just to allow everybody to join. I can see more people are joining us, so just 30 seconds or more and uh, and uh, we'll start. OK, um, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Antalis Koala Interior webinar. Uh, my name is Mike Collins. Uh, I'm a product manager for Antalis. I look I look after this exciting range of uh, koala interior films uh, and uh, I'll just give you a brief uh, overview of what we're going to be discussing today. So in the webinar, um, which should last approximately an hour, uh, we will look at what these materials can do for you. Uh, they provide a perfect solution for refurbishments, uh, furniture and wall space. Um, they save time and money uh, as they upcycle existing interiors and are used within many environments, such as residential, retail, marine, hospitality, particularly used in things such as hotels and restaurants. So their uses are, are myriad. Uh, they save your customers money and they allow you to diversify your business with very little capital outlay as printing is not required uh, with these materials. What we hope to give you uh, in, these, in this webinar is some skills to use these materials and to better understand what they can do for you. Uh, this is the first of what we hope will be more webinars where we can go into, into uh, more depth with regards to what, what you can do with them. We'll put everybody on mute to allow you to concentrate on the webinar, um, but there is an option on a Q&A at the bottom where you can type your questions and there'll be an option at the end for you to ask questions as well. Um, please also be aware that we will record the, uh, the webinar, send you a recording uh, and an email at the end um, to recap everything that we've discussed. OK, um, to present the demo. Uh, I have with me today my colleagues who are the real professionals, um, Michael and Andrea. So please, without further ado, let me hand you over to them. Good morning, everyone. My name is Michael and I'm representing today the beautiful range of uh, Koala interior film. Uh, Mike explained it quite well. Huh? We are going to be together for about 60 minutes now. And uh, we are going to basically explain you the basics of Koala interior film installations. Uh, this is going to be basically a wall installation, a basic wall installation. It's going to be a door installation with part of the frame. It's going to be how to do corners, whether it's a 90 degrees angle corner or a shaped uh, kind of corner. Uh, Andrea, who is going to assist me here uh, on the practical side, will also explain you the primers to be used with this product, but also the tools to be used. Uh, before we start, let's go through the marketing collaterals for Antalis uh, Koala Interior Film. You have here uh, the binder, which is a, a beautiful book, uh, including 471 references spread in two categories. The green one, uh, which are about 200 references. Uh, a commitment from Antalis is to have those products uh, available in, in short term. And the 271 references, actually the red ones, uh, which are available within one and four weeks. You can find this inside this uh, nice Koala interior film book. I spoke about the green references. You have this uh, premium swatch and with a little mark here, which is written collection 2021. It's the brand new collection that includes 200 references of those, what we call green, which are available straight away. You have nine categories inside. It goes from wood, from marble, uh, natural stones uh, with some nice concrete, fabric, which are honestly generally uh, beautiful, uh, solid color, the soft touch, which are resistant uh, against scratches. Huh? There is a silicone coating at the top, which basically prevents for it to scratch easily, a glitter range for the retail environment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, if you don't have those books, definitely they will be a great help for you to sell this product. Also really important, Antalis provides you free sampling service. 
A5 size. So if a client of yours, for example, uh, hesitates between one or two colors, please do not hesitate. We provide this service for you guys. Um, so this is for the marketing collaterals. Uh, I suggest now we switch straight away with uh, Andrea, who is going to go deep into the, the, the practical side of it. Thank you. Hello, nice to meet you. I will be the trainer for today for this Koala Interior Film webinar. Uh, before to start with the application, I will explain you something about tools, cleaning product and primer. Um, the first passage that you should do on the surface is the cleaning step. So uh, to clean the surface, we suggest you to use an isopropylic based alcohol. In this case, we have a surface cleaner by SOT. And um, the most important thing, like I said, is that will be isopropylic based alcohol. After the cleaning passage, we, you should apply the primer. We have two different types of primer. One is solvent based, so the metal, box, the metal uh, bottle. And we have the water based primer in the soft bottle. I think I, think I jumped straight into the, the screen. So those two primers are available. This format is also available in a smaller version. And you have inside the brush so that it's easy for you to install. But I think Andrea is right. The, the, the hard one is for hard surfaces, and the flexible one is basically for absorbing surfaces. Uh, time to dry for the solvent one is between 15 and 25 minutes. Easy to see because when you touch it with the finger, if the finger stick, you should wait. If the finger don't stick, you can proceed with the application. Uh, you apply this just on the perimeter of the surface, not, so not the entire surface. Water-based primer you apply on absorbent surface and it's important that you apply this on the entire surface. So in this case, we have a plywood table. Uh, this is absorbent, so you must apply water-based primer on the entire surface. Time to dry, it's quite easy. Uh, it's 25, 35 minutes. It's quite easy to see because when you apply this, the surface begins darker. And when it's dry, the surface comes back to the light, to a lighter color. So quite easy to see. You, you could you could use also twice this uh, solution. Yeah, sometimes uh, you need to apply to to hand, for example, uh, on MDF or plaster wall, chalk wall. They normally require to hand. Uh, about uh, primer, we explain everything. I will just give you an overview about the tools. We have a different squeegee, so we have a squeegee with a straight corner with a felt pad for wet application. Um, and we have also a bigger squeegee in 13 centimeter with a felt pad uh, to apply on flat surface, so it's a bit bigger. Uh, about the cutter, I will not explain you something special. Just keep in mind that you have different blade, sharpest one, 30 degrees and 59 degrees. Uh, is your feedback uh, which one you prefer to use? It's a lot of technical information. And for those who basically don't know this product, those tools and how to use them, uh, Antalis provides also uh, two days training course. So at the moment it's in Luxembourg, but in the short run, it's going to be also available locally uh, in England uh, because you can have the best product in the world. The installation part is key and the most important. So it's a lot of technical information, but due, thanks to the training of two days training course, you will have a lot more time to uh, understand all those little uh, technicity. Uh, we have also two different liner cut. One is to cut just the liner paper and the other one can cut just the liner, but can cut also the overlap. For example, if you're doing a furniture, you need to cut inside. You can use this nice tool and the cut will be uh, perfect and straight. We have a spare blade to break the blade and we have also gloves that you should use when you're thermoforming, so you, when you stretch the film. And we have also sandpaper because in case you have, for example, a low fragile, uh, a fragile surface like this one, to avoid to cut also the wood, you should do a straight cut and use the sandpaper. We will show after so you will see how to use also this one. I think about tools to explain everything. Yes. We can just jump to the wall and we will show how to apply on a flat surface. So wall installation is really important and because uh, directly we can make a lot of uh, square meter. Uh, someone who is certified for Koala interior film will be able to install, I believe, Andrea. 150, 180 square meter for day. So. so indeed, being able to do some uh, tables or some doors is definitely important because everyone has tables and doors, but everyone has also walls. But the big advantage with walls, it's directly a bigger turnover. Yeah, absolutely. So the liner cut will give you a chance to cut just the stripes and to give you help to position the material in a good way, check that the pattern is straight, check that you can cover the side, and after you can proceed. So this is the 
best technique that you can use. I must really highlight that this technique is really important. I install also this product myself, and often it happens that or I create tension in the product, or I realize once the installation is finished, that I was not straight, or that there was a little bit of gap at the bottom. So trust me, it's important to take some time and to make sure it's straight. Yeah. So as soon as you check that everything is good, you can cover the side and it's straight the pattern. You just apply the stripes where you remove the liner. Now you can open the top, just remove the stripes, and center to the edge, you apply the vinyl. It's always uh, advisable to apply center to the edge because like this, you put the tension outside. Now you can just pop up the material like that, take the liner on one side, take the liner on the other one. Really important down. to take it on both sides because if you take yeah. it on only one side, you're going to you damage it. it in the middle. And typically, if you do that, it's a messed up installation. Yeah. <laughs> So now you just need to remove a 10, 15 centimeter for each time and always a center to the edge. And the best is to find the synchronism between the two ends. And then after it's pretty much like wallpaper, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. But the tension is really, really important. If you have too much tension at a certain stage, yeah, you will you, have issues at the bottom of the installation. And you will lose a lot of time to, to apply, so it's uh, time waste. It looks quite easy when Andrea is doing it, but Andrea could actually do up to three, four rolls of uh, Koala interior film a day uh, on wall installation. Of course, here it's an easy wall. Huh? It's a laminated wood. So uh, even if, for example, it was not straight or even if they would have a bubble somewhere, it's easy to just reposition yep. the product. But if you were to do this on painted wall, it's a lot more complicated. Absolutely. It's one shot. Yeah. Uh, here we have a power outlet. Keep in mind that normally the plastic cover cover at least 0.5 millimeters. So also if the cut will be a bit short, nobody will see it. Uh, keep in mind that we have two metal teeth that create a bit of tension. So we do a release cut and like this we can avoid to bring tension down. So do this release cut, remove a bit of more liner and remove the material from the power outlet so from here to the right and from here to the left like this you will not probably have an accumulation of material on the lower part so like that and you stop the material on the lower part so, and you can continue to proceed this squeegee is quite good because it's a bit wider than the yeah. than the usual one so uh... Uh, I think it helps to get the product flat directly. The adhesive of this product is uh, bubble free. So even if you were, for example, to uh, uh, forget a piece to squeegee straight to the wall, you can always come back and slowly try to get the air out. When you arrive to the lower part, I suggest you to remove a bit more material, but keep distant from the surface, because in other cases, if the material starts to stick, you will just have bubbles. So keep it distance and proceed to apply. So it is obviously really fast, it's really clean, you don't disturb the activity. So if you were to do this in a hotel or if you were to do this in a shop or whatsoever, you really don't have to close your business in order to renovate. So that's the big advantage with uh, Koala interior film. Now I will show you two different cuts. One we call a flash cut or straight cut and the other one we call 45. So. Uh, I show you the difference. It's really important because when you do this type of job, if you just cut straight, you can have problems. So I show you before the cut straight. This is a straight cut. And if you touch the vinyl on the side, you can remove it. So be careful about that. When you do a paneling like that, you should cut 45. 45 means that you need to bring the blade a bit inclinate inside of the surface. And you will see that the difference is just two, three millimeter. But this two, three millimeter, three millimeter can create you problems. So be careful about that. Yeah, it's really important huh, because uh, often people tend, when they understand that this is only a film, uh, they try to peel it off. So obviously, by having the right cut, it prevents any uh, claim after the installation. Could you could you reposition? Um, uh, Koala interior film on top of uh, yeah, another one? Absolutely, you can apply over and over. The only thing is that if you have a textured vinyl on the lower, on behind, yeah, of course. you cannot apply. If you were to have, for example, a really deep structure wood, 
and you were to put a solid color on top, it would not look nice. It makes sense. How many times could you uh, reinstall on top of each other? Uh, until three layer, normally it's okay. More than three layer can create a bit of problem about the brief of the surface. So in case you have a wall or something like that, can start to create some problem. And depending on the surface, I suppose, by removing it, you might damage the surface. Yeah, absolutely. Depending there is which also one. an adhesion test that you should do, and more than hundred, more than one thousand newton uh, meter, you can damage the walls. So. Okay. Okay. Here, normally, when we have a Niger cut to do, we just leave a five millimeter on the top. Don't cut like this. The stripes will not fall down during the cut, and the cut will always straight. So, proceed like that. It makes sense because if you were to cut and the film. Uh, fall at the same time, then you might uh, again uh, not have a proper straight yep. edge installation. And one important thing is that when you go down from the stair, normally you don't need to move the cutter from the surface because in other cases you change angulation. So always keep in mind when you have an eager cut to keep the blade, go down from the stair and continue the cut. Don't forget guys, you can uh, ask questions, comments or whatsoever in the Q&A and we'll take a little bit of time at the end to answer your question or most of your questions. And now you can proceed to cut the 5 millimeter that you leave on the top. I will show you the cut around the power outlet. Just a little tips. When you do this type of cut, when you cut on the lower part, just put a bit of pressure up like this. You are always safe that if the cutter move, you cut inside, you don't cut out uh, on, the, on the part visible. When, for example, you do the cut on the top, you just put a bit of pressure down. Like this, it's always uh, safer. So put a bit of pressure down. When you cut on the left side, you put a bit of pressure on the right side. And like I said at the beginning, if you cut a bit shorter, normally it's covered by the cover of the power outlet. When you did the cut, just take the squeegee and squeegee around the metal plate. As simple as that. It looks easy, Andrea. Thank you very much. The cut on the lower part, it's really important because the, uh, the problem is that uh, in this case, no, because we don't have a carpet. But if you have a carpet, uh, if the cut is not 45, the carpet can move the vinyl, and uh, this can create a problem. I will show you better after on the door, but always keep in mind to cut 45, the lower part. Yeah, on the door, it's even more important because obviously you can close, open the door. If yeah. there is a, a bit too much excess, then uh, it will uh, peel off. About flat installation, I think we show everything. Now we will, do, uh, we will launch a video and uh, see you later for the door.
Okay guys, so from the wall we go to the door. So why would we want you to understand how to do a door? Uh, well, it's simple. It's uh, everyone has doors, you know, every hotel, every house, everybody has a door. From time to time, a door can cost quite a lot of money. Imagine just in uh, hotels, uh, the, 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 the entry door to the room needs to be fireproofed. So by adding basically a film on top uh, of, the, of the door, of the laminated door, or metal door whatsoever, it does make sense. Someone that comes to the training, usually uh, they are able to do between 10 and 15 doors, mm -hmm. uh, front and back, after a training. I think you guys are able to do like 20 or 25, 25 doors. Yeah. So it really, once you get used to it, it's really fast. Uh, for us, it's really key that you understand how to do a door from A to Z. Sometimes you might have to do the frame, sometimes not. Sometimes you might have to do the splice or the edge here, sometimes not. Us, typically, uh, we uh, paint yep. this part of the door in order to seal the edge. Uh, once again, to avoid people from trying to peel off the, uh, the film. Here, uh, Andrea is going to make the installation with a nice uh, marble. So you know the, the, the categories from, uh, from Coralla Interior Film. So floor is yours. Thank you. So also here we use the liner cut. We cut the stripes of five centimeter. Just remove the stripes. Take the vinyl. Always check that you can cover the complete surface and don't put too much material close to the hinge because like this you will not have tension. So, so it's really similar to a wall installation at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, absolutely. So for example, you see here it's not straight, it's not covered. So like this you can easily check and position it again the material. So surfaces uh, are, are quite important because typically here you were able to remove the film but if it wears, for example, on something that you cannot remove or you will damage the surface or damage the, the product. So in that case, obviously, uh, when you do the quotation to your clients, uh, it's important to know what surface you're going to install the product on. Just pop out the liner, 10, 15 centimeters for each time and proceed with the application. Not a lot of people know this kind of uh, solution, but it, it really makes sense. Imagine in a hotel, you know, when you have uh, all those visitors uh, who are coming with their suitcases. Trust me on one thing, they don't really care uh, if they damage your door. And obviously, by having a film onto it, uh, it's easy to remove. It's also possible to repair. To repair. Uh, so it, it does make a lot of sense because I always say you can easily uh, use a film on a door uh, or, or at least renovate a door in a hotel in the morning and rent the room in the afternoon. But you could not do that by replacing the door or painting the door. Yeah, and, and also, for example, a marble door, you cannot have it. Absolutely. A leather door, you cannot Absolutely. have it. So. Also, you can have on one side a marble and yeah. on the other side a solid color. There's multiple advantages to do doors, obviously. So as you can see, the application is really fast. And now you should take the other squeegee with the rigid part, just open a bit the hinge and push on this part. I always suggest you when you uh, never approach to something like that to take a sample and do a test, because if you do a mistake with the complete door, you need to throw two linear meters. So always uh, do a test. When you find a good technique, just proceed with the application. So why Andrea is, uh, uh, is doing this, uh, you might ask yourself, how much do we charge for such uh, installation? So, Andrea, I suppose a wall installation, there's multiple factors that will uh, refine the prices. Yeah. Uh, usually, we say it's uh, between 50 euro or 50 sterling to 100, 120 yeah. euro per square meter installed. So, what will make the difference? Obviously, the volume, obviously, the reference you choose, the level the of preparation. You know, if you have uh, doors that you need to spend uh, a lot of time to repair before installing, uh, obviously, the fame of the project, you know, if you, if you work with a big... Uh, a big brand, etc., etc. So a wall installation will be basically between 50 and 100, 120 euro per square meter. Where a door, Andrea, what, what is the approximate pricing for the door? Start from 350 until 450, but depends also which reference, if you need to do the side, so also here can change. Okay. Uh, if you have a frames, for example, on top of the door, so. Okay, so it, it can be quite a profitable business to do this. Uh, it's really fast. Uh, uh, and obviously, if you can do up to uh, 10, 15 doors per day, uh, e the calculation is e easily uh, made. Here, for example, we remove the gasket of the door. 
the gasket of the frame so the door it's a bit more inside than the frames so i'm doing a cut on the frame side i just push well the material on the door and after i will do a cut for the side something we didn't speak about also in the quotation don't forget the waste stage huh? you see that andrea here is removing just five centimeters just imagine if you were to uh, throw away uh, 30 or 40 centimeters of material that costs a lot of money a nice thing, for example, is that uh, when you do the door with the waist, because normally the door are 90 centimeters, 95, with the waist you can cover the frames. So you don't need yeah. to use more, okay. buy more material, but you can just use the waist. So the, the width of the material is uh, 45 inches wide. Uh, and, and indeed, yes, yeah, sometimes you can use the waist stage uh, to cover the, uh, the frames, the splice, etc., etc. Or even to just give sample to your clients. So now that I did the cut on the frame side, I just push well the material on the door to be sure about the cut, and I will proceed with a 45 cut. It's a really beautiful reference, uh, Andrea. Yeah. And it's also a bit uh, uh, silky like the soft touch. So. Okay. When you do the cut 45, it's really important that you don't change position and you don't stop the cut because in other case, probably the angle will change. What's the thickness of this material, Andrea? We go from 200 micron until uh, 450, 400, 500 for the glitter and the new fabric. The thicker it is, the easier it is to install or? On flat surface, yes, absolutely, because the material is more rigid, so uh, it will stay rigid also during the application and it will give you help. I'm really impressed to see that it was a, a basic white door uh, that everyone is proposing and uh, within uh, five, ten minutes, you know, you have a, an exclusive uh, uh, door. And also, most of the time, you can just sell the front and the back without the side, because also, for example, if this with this reference, the side will stay white. It's not really doesn't shock. Yeah. yeah. And also, uh, it's made of wood. The wood moves depending on the yeah. season. So obviously, you don't want really to uh, add an extra layer on the edge. So again, uh, it looks really easy, but uh, trust me, it takes uh, many years of experience. Just Andrea alone, I think, has been installing this product for more than 12 years. Yeah. So he knows the business. And like I said at the beginning, uh, you can have the best product in the world. If it's uh, badly installed, uh, it's an issue. So like we said before, here I did a straight cut. And as you can see, you can remove the vinyl from the surface. So always keep in mind to cut 45 or with the same angulation uh, angle uh, that they use to cut the laminate on top of the door so always check that you cannot remove the beam we will do the cut of the handle and we will show the frames so sometimes in hotels uh, the hotel themselves will take care of putting the handle removing yep. the handle and things like that when we spoke about the quotation of the door obviously this is all those uh, little details that will bring the price uh, to the low part or to the high part. And when we were saying uh, 10 to 15 doors, uh, doors a day, that's removing all the handles and everything or uh, just installing the product? If it's normal handle, yes. If it's card reader, uh, maybe take a bit more time. But inside of this time, you have the informative paper to remove double side adhesive, uh, the little things uh, to see yeah, on yeah, the yeah, back of the door. Yeah, so. Yeah. You have many things to, to remove. Uh, about the door, it's everything. I just suggest you when you finish the application, if it's really, if you go quick, to just pass the hand on the top like that, because it can be normal that you leave uh, maybe one or two bubbles on the surface. And so if they were one or two bubbles, then you can easily press them thanks to the airflow yeah. uh, adhesive. For example, here there is a bubble. It's not visible because this pattern will hide the bubble, just do a little hole and push it. We will show now the frame. So it's, it's really a, a good business at the end of the day to do doors because there's, there's many hotels that basically needs a bit of refresh. Uh, and uh, with this product, it, it really makes sense. And they, they don't have to close the activity. Uh, they can choose any colors they want. It's really fast to put in place. And at the end of the day, it's much cheaper than having to change the whole thing.
About the frames, normally you should, this, uh, you should do this in three different parts uh, and uh, uh, in this case we have a marble that if you turn on one side to the other you will not see any difference but in case you are doing for example a wood application you need to check with the client if they want the pattern like that or like that because this uh, uh, can be different and normally the original wood is horizontal on the top and vertical on the side so just give this decision to the customer and you are always safe. Uh, about the application, I suggest you to apply always the top before and after the side because like this, the joint here will look up. It's less visible from the, for the eyes from a lower side. So always proceed like that. Just keep in mind that if you use a white, I suggest you to do the opposite because the white can keep the dust here so the joint will be uh, more visible. So in case of white, just do the opposite before the side and after the top. We will just show a, a part of the frame. Squeegee the vinyl. The upper part, you can uh, decide by yourself it's, if it's the case to cover it or no, because most of the time it's not visible. And if you do a 45 cut, there is no way to remove the material. And if you have many frames to do, you save time. So it's also important to check this if you can. Uh, here, to go inside, we should do a cut 45. It's always a rule that when, whenever you need to do an overlap, the first cut is 45 and the second one is straight because the 35 cut give you some millimeter more for the overlap. And the last one, it's straight to give you the finishing. So in this way, you can always have a nice cut on the corner. We proceed with a 45 cut. And now, due to the fact that this material is a bit rigid, we use a technique that it's called free step to don't leave channel of fire in the middle of the corner. So push on the front, push in the middle of the edge, and push after the edge. Like this, you are always safe. Take the squeegee with the straight corner, so the other one, and just push inside the, the material. Doing a cut 45 here, you will have exactly two millimeter that will go on the side. So like this, you will uh, uh, avoid to cut in the corner. Here we have a gasket. So also if the cut is not really straight, will be not visible. Just push the material. And here we should keep two millimeter more for the overlap so the cut is not from one edge to the other it's a bit after so i can say three millimeter after the corner normally i use the squeegee like a rule but you can also use a ruler just remove the little part that stay on the side and now you can proceed with the application on the of the side which, which is pretty much the same kind of installation. Yeah. I mean. Just change the cut to go inside. And if you were to have a wood grain, how would you do the? How would you choose the, the direction? Uh, normally, we leave this decision to the customer because, like this, you are always safe. That if after the application yeah. they say no, I don't want it like that. I would like to have it in the other uh, side. They mm. should pay for that. So yeah, of course, it's better. Here, the cut it's straight because you just need to have the finishing. So cut straight, the free step on top, in the middle and after the edge. Take the squeegee and squeegee the material inside. In the camera will be not really uh, visible, but here you have exactly a perfect overlap uh, that uh, you can maybe not understand also that is a vinyl. Uh, and this is the most safer solution because if I should do a cut now in the corner, I will probably cut both layer. And due to the fact that the surface is white, you will see the cut. So always use this technique and you will be always safe on the, on the, on the corner. You, you recommend overlap, right? Instead yeah, of absolutely. butt to butt. Yeah. Especially when you have a different uh, color, because if the surface is white, you apply dark, it's always safer. If and it's white on white, you can also think to cut. And I suppose it's the same for wall installation. We would recommend yeah. something like one or two centimeters overlap. Yeah. Uh, but thanks to the structure of the product, yeah. you, you will absolutely not see anything. Sometimes you have more overlap because you have the pattern repetition to respect, but uh, some, the minimum is one centimeter. One centimeter, yeah. 
Here I just push the material close to the wall or in this case the structure and do the cut in the hole. Here now you need to cut from one edge to the other because you need to have the finishing. So just put the squeegee exactly from one to the other edge and do a cut. Always be careful about the cut on the overlap because if you cut both layer, you probably need to redo the job. So always be careful about that. Cut this little part 45 on the side and frame installation, it's done. Just close the door to have a nice effect. It's quite impressive. Huh? I don't know if we can zoom a little bit. I think we've done it already, but the zoom is quite, uh, yeah, it's amazing. A nice marble like this, it's, uh, that has no price, basically. You cannot compare to a normal door. This is uh, yeah. uh, absolutely uh, exclusive. So for door and frames, we show pretty everything. We will have now a video. See you later for the application on the table. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. So we've done the wall installation, we've done the uh, door installation, and now we're going to speak a little bit about corners. Um, but before that, we've seen two questions. So the number one, it was, uh, is cover style a wet or dry installation? So it's, uh, well, Andrea, you want to answer maybe? Yeah, uh, you can do both application. I just suggest you do to the fact that it's a bubble-free material, uh, he, uh, and it has a net on the back to remove the hire. I suggest you to use a dry application, but you can also use a wet. So as you want. So typically on this door, it's a laminated wood. So if you were, for example, to spray a little bit of uh, soapy water in order to make sure it's straight when you install it, it's possible. Of course, it's going to take longer to dry, but it's good information to know. But normally, I would say 90% uh, uh, of the installation will be always dry installation. Uh, and the second question was related to the color matching depending on batches. So my advice typically is whenever you have a job, please buy directly the whole uh, lot the whole batch of what you need because indeed depending on the pattern you might have from time to time some slight color change 
uh, slight is like two to four percent depending on the pattern uh, it might be a bit more noticeable on fabrics typically yeah. uh, which is a bit more difficult to produce but uh, like i say again it's really light so typically you wouldn't do a wall straight with a different batch uh, to another now we're gonna go straight into corners don't hesitate again to uh, shoot those questions in the uh, q a so Andrea will start with uh, a 90 degrees angle installation. Yep. Uh, typically, this kind of wood he mentioned at the beginning, but you would use a primer uh, water base that you would let dry and then after do the installation. Floor is yours. And when uh, you apply water based primer, you should avoid uh, uh, stretch on the on the corner because this can create a bit of problem. Just give me one second. That's OK. I will just show a part but the proceed it's the same for all the corner so whenever you apply the vinyl on the flat surface just push on the on the corner to highlight the head of the corner like this the cut will be after the corner after the head so push highlight the corner and cut we call this cut 45 so in the middle between the two sides and, and you are going one millimeter below the little head right yeah yeah and uh, it's always important, especially if you do kitchen cabinets, that you think which side you see before, because sometimes you need to do an overlap. On one side will be more visible, on the other less. So always keep in mind on which side you can do the overlap. Push well the material on the corner. Turn this on the other side. Take the cutter and do a cut three millimeter after the corner. So you keep basically a little excess of product yeah. so that when you will do the overlap afterwards, you avoid to have again this blank or this little gap yeah. uh, of the surface. In this case, we don't go on the back. So I just do a cut here and cut on the side. In case you want to do on the back, you just release this cut and you fold it. And if you were to fold it on the on the back, then you would leave again two, three, mil, uh, two, three centimeters, yeah. right? So we are in England, so two, three centimeters should be about uh, one inches, one inch. Close the other side. And normally I just close to see this uh, to highlight and to see the corner, but the cut must be done on the same side of the first one. So not after the corner because this material is a bit rigid. And if you leave just two millimeter, you will probably find this two millimeter open. So always do the cut on the same side. More... You don't go too deep. Yeah. You don't, you don't need to go too deep and also more close you are to the corner more will be beautiful the finishing so for example when you have a low uh, a fragile surface like that you can also think to uh, brush the side so you just need to take a sponge with the sandpaper uh, normally we use between 80 and 180 and just brush like that mm. and you will brush the vinyl and the, and the table so the, it's like if the vinyl and the table are cut in uh, one time so there is no way also if you push a lot to remove the vinyl so, so that's, that's a big advantage if you don't yeah. do that you will have issues so uh, installers should definitely do this finish otherwise they client will try to remove the film so always try to remove it and you will check that it's okay about the straight corner, we show pretty everything. We just need to switch the table, give us 30 seconds. So the 90 degrees angle is done. And now we're going to go basically with an installation on uh, where you need to heat, uh, to heat up the material in order to stretch it to the shape of the, of the surface. Once, once the installation are done, we're going to make a zoom on the corner so that you can see once again uh, the quality of the finish. So also here we just show a part, but the technique is pretty the same for the complete part of the table. Squeegee the central part. It's, uh, it's nice and it's good to have more material, but not too much. So between 5 and 10 centimeters, it's OK. If you have more, just cut it. You cut it because you would have some risk afterwards. It stick to, uh, yeah. to, to itself. Because once it sticks to itself, it's really complicated to uh, remove it. You can bin the film. Material is quite expensive, so obviously uh, you better uh, be careful. 
Now you should use the heat gun or you can use also uh, a torch because I know that in UK someone use a torch and not the heat gun. Just set the, the temperature between 200 and 250. Let it charge the temperature. And always remember that when you warm the material, you don't need to stretch. So the procedure is this, you warm it, when it, the material is flat and at a good temperature, you can keep it intense and close it on the side. Never do this together. So warm it when the material is flat, it's the good temperature, and you just keep it intense and you close it. More stretch you give, more tension you will have close to the cut. I really must highlight here, it looks really easy, but you just need to practice. Can you just show, Andrea, when you fold the product? Let's say, for yep. example, you messed up the installation and you need to take it back so that people are not panicking whenever they have to take it back. So even if the product is messed up, by just heating up a little bit more, then the product comes back yep. to what it used to be. So that's really the big advantage of you vinyl based You can also do something material. like that and you just need to warm it and the material will come back to a normal shape. So it's really a nice quality product. So because. let's say, for example, you were a bit stressed on the first installation. Look at this now. I don't know if you see it well on the camera, but you see the material comes back to what it was. So you let it a bit dry like this, cool down, and then you can reinstall once again. So it's a massive advantage. Obviously, whenever you have to use heat gun to make shapes, again, uh, here you need to increase uh, your selling price. Uh, it's a lot, it takes a lot more time to do this kind of installation than just cutting and uh, installing it flat. In this case, this is an art surface, so you must apply primer plus, and the primer plus should be applied just on the back, at least one centimeter. Uh, if the table was more thicker on the side, sometimes you, it's advisable to apply the primer also on the side and not just on the back. Just so again, afterwards, we're going to do a zoom on the, on the finish of both, so you can really tell that it's, uh, it's like a second skin. Ooh, mistake. Would you be able to cut straight away afterwards at the edge or you would no, uh, advise you, you cut it straight, right? Always when you do the thermoforming, you need to fold the material on the back. Because ah, you, you, would, you, would, yeah. you yeah. would overlap. Often people ask if uh, when you install this product, typically in a kitchen, if you could cut straight away on it or whatsoever, obviously not. Huh? Uh, you don't cut straight on the product. It's still just a vinyl based material. Uh, it's definitely resistant. So, I mean, if you were to have uh, water or whatsoever on it, it's, it's absolutely uh, 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 okay. But uh, obviously cutting straight onto it, you will damage the material. And also one common question is about if you place something warm on top of it, uh, until 60 degrees normally you don't have any mark. If you put something more warmer, I suggest you to use a, we call in, a you call in England trivet, I think. It's something that you put on the back of the... In any case, even if you would not have a film, you should do that anyhow. Yeah. So that's the same. Warm the material, just keep it intense and close it on the back. The more you're going to warm up the material, the more flexible it becomes. Of course, it's not limitless. Huh? If you keep having your gun, you will definitely pierce the product. So you need to, uh, you need to learn, obviously, by practice. Not all materials are stretchable, so we suggest you to always uh, take time to give an, over, um, an overview about the technical part of the product, because like this, you know what you can do with, uh, for example, uh, soft touch, because soft touch are not stretchable or fabric, so you must know exactly the specification of the product. We've got a question, Andrea, which is basically asking if we would do a table exactly this way or if we would have to do an overlap at a certain stage 
So the answer is quite easy. This table is small. The product is 48 inches wide. So here you could install it in one full piece. But imagine a, a long conference table, for example, which is wider than the width of the product. We have the counter table on the... Typically the counter table that we've done there. So in that case, would you do an overlap or you would do butt to butt? Uh, depend, depends from the surface, because if you have a neg adhesion surface, you can think to do butt joint, but always keep in mind that you can have one by or oh, two millimeter of shrink in a long term, because it's a calandrous material. Uh, but when you don't have an, a, a neg adhesion surface, I suggest you to avoid butt joint and to leave an overlap, because... I would recommend the same, and basically a Cola Interfilm wood uh, uh, collection is basically mostly with a nice structure. So basically, whenever you do an overlap, you actually even don't see it. You really need to put your hand onto the table to understand that there is a joint. To do the cut on the back, we have two different solutions. The easiest, one, the easiest one is that you turn the table and you do the cut. The second one is a bit difficult, but if you get the technique, it's uh, quite easy. You just need to use one finger like a guide and you uh, the cutter stay on the finger and the finger stay on the edge so the cut it's always a straight just set the finger on the edge the cutter in a good way and just turn the cutter and the blade on the back i know that uh, andre and stefano love to use this way to cut uh, the the product you could also uh, do it differently and then after decide to do an overlap at the bottom in order to tighten the film even uh, stronger. Uh, you can also think to use the knifeless if you want to have a round uh, and uh, straight cut. So just keep in mind to use the precision line that is the metal one, because in other case we will not cut the vinyl. So as you can see, also if they did the cut without looking on the back, you can see that the cut is pretty straight. Let's try now maybe to do a zoom on both finishes so that we can really see. So we're going to try I don't guarantee that it's going to be perfect. Maybe can you uh, can you put down the table over here? Thank you. So let's see. So you see the edge is, is really is really nice. Huh? It's uh, it's like a second skin. Could we see also the, yeah. the the last corner if you don't mind? I think most of the tables you will do them with a co with a with a cut at the edge. Huh? On straight corner, if you do a cut and you don't stretch it, there is no. Uh, real difference. I mean, if you work well, it's uh, pretty the same uh, result. Perfect. I think we show everything about yes. the technique. Let's switch now to the uh, to the questions uh, to end up this uh, 60 minutes session. So we just have one question to answer. Just one question. Yeah, the, the, the other ones are really interesting. So for the pricing on the doors between uh, 350 pounds and 450. Uh, does that include both sides of the door and the frame, or is it only the, the front? It would include everything. So I would say if you just do two faces, it will be slightly cheaper. I would say it can start at 250 sterling a door, uh, the two front. Uh, but then indeed, when you start doing the splice, when you start doing the frame, uh, when you start removing uh, all the handles and all the uh, the different things on the door, the signage, etc., etc., definitely you might start to charge more money. And it's always advisable to do a test because sometimes the frames have different RHS, so it takes more time. It's always better to do a test to understand the uh, time. Concentrate really once again on, the, on, on, on this range. It's 200 references spread in uh, nine categories. Uh, you have them all uh, there, uh, so do not hesitate. Uh, you can contact uh, uh, your local uh, partners in uh, United Kingdom, Antalis. Uh, if there's no further question, uh, we will end it, but we are, there is one. There is one. Final one. Is it possible to print on Koala Interior? Absolutely, absolutely, you can print on. So basically the whole range is uh, UV printable. Uh, the solid color range, few of the wood will be also eco solvent and latex printable. Uh, so absolutely, it's also a great advantage uh, for this product, the fact that you can print on. Imagine, for example, a hotel is asking you a special design, special graphics or whatsoever, or typically uh, even this, uh, this cover of this binder. Uh, so absolutely, it's printable. Are you going to visit Antalis in Lincoln, Scotland, so we can have some shrink? It's 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 absolutely uh, in the forecast. So Andrea and Stefano will uh, uh, will come in the near future to give the first uh, uh, Antalis UK uh, trainings. Absolutely, it's in the pipeline, and we are looking forward, obviously, meeting uh, you all. And if you are missing materials on the face for example, a wood and a marble reference, would you butt join or overlap them? 
I think most of the range covers, uh, most of the range covered theorem will need to be overlapped. Okay. We don't have any any more questions. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to uh, subscribe to the training with uh, with your local partners. And uh, looking forward to meet you all. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Andrea. Um, I'm sure everybody found um, uh, what this range of materials can actually offer, you know, the wide range of opportunities, uh, the, the applications you can actually use it for. I think you actually need to see the materials yourself to understand the wide range. Um, uh, Michael touched on the fact of 200 references that are available. We have uh, collateral maxi swatches that, that represent those 200 uh, what we call green references that are available on a three day delivery um, if you require them. Um, there is a further 400 plus references that are available on a longer lead time as well. Um, so thank you for that. Um, for me, uh, this whole range, the, the, the devil is in the detail. It's how you actually finish these materials. So where they're used, they, they need to be, you need to um, apply them and they need to look seamless. Um, so for that reason, training is a key part to it. Um, so uh, as Michael has already touched on uh, and Andrea, uh, there will be opportunities for training going forward. There is a dedicated demonstration um, suite uh, that is in Luxembourg that um, I'm sure for the gold standard of training is the ideal location, but clearly with the pandemic at the moment being what it is, what it is travel is very difficult. Course. Um, but that training when it's fully functioning is a two-day course and it will cover everything and of course with the dedicated demonstrations where you've got things such as doors and uh, um, tables that you can use to, to to fully understand the finishes the 45 degree cuts and everything else that is required um, just to, to to also mention as well um, uh, as one of the questions uh, uh, we will be running some localized training um, in, in various regions on this range as well. So we will send you out um, details after this training um, to you that will detail uh, and give you an opportunity to register your interest. We'll also give you some information on the collateral that's available for you as well. Um, okay, so uh, let me finally thank you for your for your attendance, and I hope you found it interesting. And we hope to do. Um, more of these in the future. Thank you very much.